all the lovely people here. I've been watching for a while now, lurking, waiting. I'm here, but you probably haven't seen me. This is me. Hello everyone, I'm Catherine. Nice to meet you. I'm new here. It's been over a year since Pat invited me to make a video, and here I am, finally making one late. Um, I'm terrible. Pat, I'm so sorry that I'm bad at reading guidelines and knowing dates. But enough of that. Passion. I realized a while ago that being passionate is so often thought of in this kind of grand, ideal sense of what it means to be passionate. It's full of this love and wondrousness and just kind of this deep feeling of something really, 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 really mattering to you. And either to one person or even the entire world, it's something that really matters. But I also think that passion can be about silly things, like the superficial stuff that really, really does not play any role in that kind of fabric of the universe that binds us all together. And so there's this instrument that I do not yet own that I want to tell you about. It's called the automaton. It looks kind of like a toy, it's in the shape of a music note with a face and it's adorable. And the sound that it makes pretty much ranges from surprisingly pleasant and vaguely human-like to ungodly. I mention this to you not just because I enjoy the automaton itself as an invention, as a musical instrument, as everything that it is, but also because the thing that I am passionate about is a very specific, purposely really bad cover of a well-known Evanescence song. And it is just the right amount of earnest and out of tune combined with the song's angst is just so poignant. And it has been my number one passion over the past couple months to spread this around the entire land. And it's just kind of the silly thing that has filled me with this weird evangelical zeal over the past few weeks. And I'm happy to share it with all of you wonderful people. And I hope you go listen to the song links in the doobly-doo because it's wonderful. <laughs> Liz, thank you for talking about that kind of broad passion about passion, which is something that I was actually considering talking about, and doing so in such a sweet way, so that today I could be silly. And Brendan, I will see you tomorrow.